Hello everyone, welcome to another video in the Exploring Minds TV series. In this video, we will be creating a view using Minds TV. So let's get started. So first things first, we will be using Minds TV Cloud uh, to complete this tutorial. In order to do this, you have to sign up for a Minds TV Cloud account. If you are new, then you can check out my video on how you can sign up. The link is in the description. So once you have signed up and logged into your account, you should land up in a dashboard, something like this. So in this dashboard, we have this uh, top panel to write the queries. And when we hit this run button, we uh, get the results in this bottom panel, which is the result viewer. Also towards the right, we have this uh, learning hub resources that anyone who is just getting started with minds tv can use and learn more about it so in this particular video what we want to do is we want to create a view using minds tv so the first step to do this will be importing a data set so for that i will click on add data and here we have so many amazing database integrations available already but we will switch to files and then we will click on import file and here I will click on this import a file and I will select this Uber data set and I will say open and I will give this table a name say Uber. Well, this data set is publicly available on Kaggle. You can download it from there. The link is available in the description and I will say save and continue. So the file is uploaded now. So there are two basic queries. We'll run it one by one. The first one will list out all the tables available in files database. Ah, okay, so as you can see, we have the Uber table available. And then the next thing we want to do is we want to fetch some data records from this Uber table. So I will run the second query now. And we got the data records over here. Then the next thing we want to do is we want to train a predictor model. Uh, say we want to predict the fair amount for the uber rides so what we want to do now is we will say create predictor minds db dot predictor name suppose uber predictor then we will say from which database the table is present from files then we'll say which columns you want to feed i'll say select star from uber i want to feed all the columns into the model to train then what we want to do we want to say what we want to predict so the keyword is predict then i'll say this one which is the fair amount oh i'll say fair amount so this is the query uh, to create a predictor. Uh, so let's execute this one. So it says the query successfully completed. It should take a while for this model to be up and running. Meanwhile, we can check the status. So the query for that will be select status from mindstb dot predictors so each and every predictor model that we train it stays inside the predictors table as a uh, row so that's why we are fetching it from minds tb dot predictors then i will say where name equals the name of the predictor which is uber predictor i will copy it from here and i will paste it here and then we will run this one to fetch the status so the current status is training so initially you can get uh, the status of generating and then the status uh, that will be returned is training and finally when the model is ready the status will be complete so now we have to wait until the status is complete okay so the status for the predictor model is complete now so the predictor model is now ready to do the predictions so let us first understand what creating a view means so uh, MindsDB provides us with the create view statement that in return creates a view for us. In other words, this statement creates an AI table. So generally 
an ai table consists of the original data set table that is the uber table here and the predictor model which is the uber predictor here okay so what it does in like general terms uh, suppose you have uh, like trained a predictor model and then what you are doing is you will join another data set with all the similar columns and we want to predict uh, the fair values of all the rows okay so now what we will do we will uh, train this predictor model using a part of that data set and we will then join this predictor model with the other part of the data set and finally an ai table will be built where we will have this extra column of the predicted fair amount okay so this is how it works so now what we will do is we will try to create a, a view out of this uh, data set that we have we don't have a, another data set so we can still go ahead and use the same data set and uh, join it with the predictor that we just created so you'll come down here and then there is a specific create view statement provided by minds tv so the statement will be something like this create view and then we have to give a view name so i'll say it uber fair as then a bracket then i'll say select e dot pick up latitude comma e dot pick up longitude comma t dot drop off latitude comma e dot drop off longitude comma t dot pick up date time comma p dot fair amount as fares from files dot uber as p join minds tv dot uber predictor as e and then we will put a semicolon at the end so this is how uh, the uh, statement for the view looks like a uh, create view uh, followed by the name of the view that we want to give as then we select the columns that we want to display in this new ai table so we are picking up so t is the allies for the data table so we are picking up the pickup latitude from the uber table then the pickup longitude then drop up latitude then drop up longitude and finally the pickup date and time and then we are adding one column to it uh, which is the fair amount and we are renaming that column as fares and this fair amount value is something we are picking up from the uh, predictor model itself so we are joining this uh, column from the predictor and rest of the columns from the table and then we are creating another new ai table and the name of the view is uber fair so let us now execute this statement so it says query successfully completed now the next thing we want to do is uh, explore the view that we just created so to do that we have a simple select query i'll say select star from views dot uberfair and i will execute this one so as you can see we have the view created or the new ai table is created and here we have all the 
columns that we specified here the pickup latitude pickup longitude drop up latitude drop up longitude pickup date time and finally the fares which are predicted by the model itself and this is how uh, the ai table looks and we have successfully created a view now using minds db so that's all for this video i hope you had a great time watching it so drop a like subscribe to the channel and do share it with your friends and don't forget to drop a github star on the minds tv repository thanks for watching this video and i'll see you in the next one